So that's where we're going to be staying. Where is it? Right okay. here. Yep, that's the actual building. Our room. You see that window that's kind of messed up in that corner right there? Yes. That's going that's our living room. Right there? Yep. That's his and his bedroom is that window right there. Hmm. And you see right here, Presley family at Lauderdale Courts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it right there. So friends, I am at Uptown Square again, or Lauderdale Courts as it originally was known. And I have the keys to the room. You have to have this key to get through the gate and and some other stuff, but I have the key. I'm actually staying in the room tonight. This is the phone number. This is how you book a room right here, Uptown Square Apartments. And you call that phone number right there, 901-523-8662. And you can rent this room for $250 a night. And you go through that gate across the street and it's at the far end down there. So let's go, friends. So yes, indeed, friends, I am staying in Elvis's original apartment at Lauderdale Courts. Staying in it tonight. I'm going to sleep in Elvis's bedroom. Come with. So we're going to go across the street. I'm going to take my luggage and put it in here because I've got more exploring to do today. So we're going to come out here and it is gated so it is safe. And so you take this, I'm not sure which one of these does it, but that one did it. One of them did. And that opens the gate. They always show these as the ones that Elvis stayed in, but it wasn't those at all. It was the big one at the very end back there. But when you see pictures, I always thought that it was one of these. And I'm sure many of you thought the same thing. But you have to turn to the right and scoot down around the back way right here. And if you walked up those right here is actually where his door is. You see that door says 185 right there. That's where the door is. That was their entry door back then. And back then this highway wasn't here so they parked right here on this street. But there's a highway there now so obviously that can't happen. So we're going to pull up and park right here and you can see it says welcome to Uptown Square, home of Elvis Pretzel. So when I came in here, it is 76 in here, which is not going to get it. Oh, that's security. Oh, here we go. It's 78 in here. That's definitely not going to get it. And I noticed that the guitar has a broken string. So I will be buying guitar strings and fixing that today. Yes, I will. All right, friends, Lori has never been to the apartment in Lauderdale, so I'm gonna take her right now. We're fixing to go home to the Presleys. I don't like that vehicle following us in. It might be. Did one? Yeah. Held us. These are the new places. Well, they're redone, honey. Yeah. They're original. Oh, 
What do you think? So this is Elvis's bedroom. This is where we'll be sleeping. Oh, we're sleeping in here? <laughs> yeah. Where'd you want to sleep? At the pyramid? Yes. <laughs> She's used to a lot of luxury, friends. <laughs> but that was his mom and dad's bedroom there. I mean, it's meant to be from the 50s, honey. Oh, I know. Nostalgic. That's the point of it. She's not impressed, friends. So, friends, I noticed something when I came and brought the, brought the luggage off earlier, and that was there's a guitar in Elvis's bedroom, but some of the strings are broken and they're kind of rusty and, and crippy, so I stopped and bought two sets of strings. I'm going to leave an extra set here. I bought a tuner that will stay here and I bought some picks that will stay here. And so if any of you people that come stay here and you play the guitar, just know that I put the strings on it and I left an extra set of strings in case you break one. There's going to be some picks here and there'll be a tuner here so that you can tune the guitar up. And I will show you where all that stuff is at. So. I'm gonna go get the guitar and change the strings here. Stand by, friends. The one issue is it's missing two of the pegs right here. So hopefully, hopefully they're in that bedroom somewhere. If not, that could be an issue, friends. So these two pieces missing, friends, I'm going to try to use some of this and make This is not ideal, friends, but I think it's going to work. Alright, so now I'm going to use the tuner, friends. I just did it by ear to see if I can get it close. did not play Love Me Tender here because that was prior to him. He lived here prior to being famous. But I'll tell you something that I bet he did play here. You ain't never called a ain't no friend of mine. You said you was high class and that was just a lie. You don't say you was high class. I know that he would play that song here is my friend Scotty Moore said when he went over and visited him the first time he saw Elvis at it would have been here it would have probably been over at Alabama Avenue because he had already graduated high school and was working at Crown Electric so they live they didn't live here they lived on Alabama which is actually right around the corner from here I believe that's where he went to visit him and he said that he had uh, Big Mama Thornton singing Hound Dog on a, on a 78. Um, and I've actually held that record that he claims was the one that Elvis owned originally. He had it in a collection at his house. And I've held the record. And he said that that was his personal copy. So I know for a fact that Elvis would have, in all likelihood, sung Hound Dog right here. There you go. There's another little 
fun hill this night, friends. I'm going to keep on working on these strings. Y'all stay tuned. All right, friends. So I'm going to play you one that he did at 68 Comeback Special when he took Scotty's guitar. Side, and I'm gonna put it in the. Can you believe that's catching on that? And I'm gonna put it in the back. I'm keeping one pick for me. And I'm putting nine in here, and it will be in the back. And you know what? I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna drop down to the bottom drawer, which is the least likely for somebody to disturb. It's not. Create havoc. People just like to mess with stuff, friends, but there's a brand new set of strings and some picks, and I will put the tuner there as well when I'm done with it. And they have some interesting things in here. This is a this is Elvis Precision Tool Company, which he did work for at one time. And look, there's his social security number, 409-52-2002. And this week he made $62. And this was his a report card. It says Humes High School right here. And at that time, as I mentioned, he lived at 462 Alabama Avenue. So this would have been his last report card because he only had about two months left when he left here when he moved uh, the day before his um, 18th birthday. And you see it showing he was 5'11 and 150 pounds. And then this is Selective Service, which he ended up having to go, 1958. Social Security card right here. Right here is a tax return for 1953, which he would have been 18 years old, 1953. Same Social Security number as you can see in a show on Alabama Avenue again. And he worked for M.B. Parker company and precision tool and a lot of people say that was his last job or his first job um but that's not true crown is what i'm talking about he made uh 916 dollars that year big money and this is a 
a remake of the Humes, a reprint of it. And there's Elvis Aaron Presley right there, friends. And this is in the room, which is pretty cool. This is Love Shirley. Sweet, very sweet. Best of everything to a very sweet and cute girl, Elvis. That's Elvis wrote that right there to the girl that owned this. There you go. That's even in the room right there, friends, which is pretty cool. This picture right here is not accurate in this house because this was where he lived two addresses after here. <laughs> and there's a Bible right there. And you got to kiss the wall before you leave, Laura. There's a lot of people stayed here for all these wall kisses. <laughs> yeah. See what it says right there? Kisses only, please. No writing. So, in his mom and dad's room, they've I noticed that they've got some things in here, which are pretty cool. This is a tower loan brokers where they gave him a loan uh, in 1946 for twelve dollars this is his third grade report card they don't have anything inside of it but that is what it looked like on the outside east tupelo school this is where vernon went and bought some groceries look Two pounds of beans for 30 cent, two pounds of peas, 30 cent, onions, a nickel, two tomato, two pounds of tomatoes, 30 cent, coffee, 50 cent, bread was 15 cent, chicken feed, 35 cent, ink, 10 cent, five gallons of oil was 50 cent, and that was in 1947. And then this is Patterson Furniture in Jackson, Tennessee, where he was making payments. He paid a dollar, two dollars, a dollar, a dollar. Vernon Presley. He bought something for thirteen dollars and twenty-one cent and financed it. And then this right here. A loan receipt book. He borrowed two hundred dollars, and he had twenty installments of ten dollars, payable semi-weekly, every other week. Or yes. So I don't think there's anything inside of it. But these are nice touches. If they put this stuff in here that you can look at, and that's Elvis. When he first moved here, he would have looked about like that. And that's Gladys and Vernon. That's back in Tupelo. That's his grandma, Dodger. And that picture would have been about right for living here. And as I've shown you before, this picture was made here, right outside this window. not that's not this window this window is right here this window right here so if you go out there that window and that window are on that wall right there. there's a little crook right there i normally use a snark they didn't have snarks for my tuner i like it a little better than this tuner but it is what it is so you can see they have the tv VCR combo down here and they have some Elvis movies in here and you have the Then you have the stereo the old-timey radio. There's a record on there 
And this picture right here was of course shot here when he lived here. This picture right here was, was shot here when he lived here. And you know, now some things change. Obviously, the, probably the wall coverings are different. The floor coverings are definitely, definitely different. The, the furniture is definitely different. But things that don't change, friends, are, especially here, all these buildings are original. So you know Gladys looked out this window many times working in this kitchen. That high rise was not over there. But all these other buildings were. And it probably looked very similar to this. You can see the arches here. That's original. So they say that Elvis, this is his bedroom. They say that he sat in this window sill. So friends, imagine a young Elvis sitting in this window sill with the window open. I've got the window open right there. You ain't nothing but a Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a beautiful audience. It is loud out there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> belly, belly, belly. You're knocking the whole curtain. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're trying here, friends. You got to give them that. To be nostalgic. It's not meant to be perfect. My wife is used to perfect. Oh gosh. I wish that. Ta -da! I wish. Okay. okay. You hear that sound? So there it is, friends. I'm going to go to sleep. We'll get up tomorrow and we'll continue on this adventure and look at some more stuff around you. What do you think about that? But you know what? Let's go, before I go to sleep, let's go outside and see what it looked like here after dark, just so we know. You see what she's saying? Hey. You're about to drive me nuts. Honey, I ain't got to drive you that far. So friends, I actually had some nostalgic audio right here where I was sitting on the steps and reminiscing about what it would be like for Elvis to sit out here as a teenager and play his guitar and sing and hang out with his mom and then sit on the steps and talk about the future. But it was so loud out there that none of my audio came through, so I'm doing a, a quick voiceover. And on this other side, you have seen the picture before I've shown you of Elvis standing there like he is drawing a, a gun. And that is happening over on the far side. I'm going to walk over there. That is the area where they actually have a footprint marked. But the security guards driven through there with the golf cart so much, there's mud all over the footprint. You can't even see it. But you also see those steps that are in the background there in some of the pictures. I'm going to let you hear how loud it is outside. So one lesson, friends. Prop this door because this will not get you back in. So friends, they say that Elvis would come down here and sing because of the acoustics. So let's check it out. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. And it's 10 o'clock at night, so I'm trying not to disturb the neighbors. But it echoes in here pretty good. I think that's something that led to the sound that he originally had with that kind of echoey sound. That's what he could hear. That's what he wanted it to sound like. And you can even see this post right here that post you can see it right 
there. So friends, we were bumping along just about asleep. And then we heard this wind howling. And you can see it's really windy out. The electricity's gone out. The electricity's been out all night. Here's the footprint. Where Elvis was standing right there. Got his picture made. Friends, this is Lauderdale Court right here, and you know our lights went out, as I probably mentioned, about 10.30 last night. And it's, uh, let's see what time it is. It's 9.23 this morning, and they're still out. And uh, these are pieces of the electric lines. That's what holds the lines up on the, on the pole, and you can see it's torn all of that off. There's pieces of the lights. So these could actually be hot wires that are down and there's not even any police here. There's nothing, nothing going on. But there's the lamp, the street lamp. And there's pieces of the, of the pole. You can see it's just busted all up. And the only thing's keeping that tree from falling is it's laying on the lines up there. And those lines are hot wires. And you can see they're laying down. It's a dangerous, dangerous little situation right here, friends. There's areas. So these wires that are hanging down right here are hot. Or could be, but there's no electricity here. But if they power up, this stuff is gonna spark, most likely. Did you see it rip that wire right in two? Tree down over there. Tree limb down here. Big tree down over there. We're gonna stop up there and take a look. Tree's been here a long time, friends. Of course it was rotten. Something that's interesting is the uh, parking meters are up inside here. You don't see that every day. We're just peeking through it, didn't knock them down. 
And they are old. And for reference, that's the Lauderdale Court's office. That's where you go in to get the room. And this is right beside it. And it looked like one of those trees. Been here a long, long time, friends. And because of the storm, there was only one Starbucks open in the city. So the line was out into the street for the cars and the line was outside the door for the pedestrians, for the people going in. So it took me a long time to even get this. So I was trying to think of some other tunes that I could remember since the electricity is out. And let me think. Uh, let's let me look it up. I'm gonna try that, friends. Let's see what the the first five or first ten sun recordings were. Oh, okay. Definitely would have done this. Um, That's all right, you fool with you ain't no good for you. That's all right. That's all right. Well, that's all right. Well, that's all right now, mama. Any way you do. And I'm going from it. Well, mama, she done told me. Papa done told me too. Son, I got you fooling with you ain't no good for you. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right now, Mama. Any way you do. It definitely would have sung that here. That was uh, Big Boy Arthur Crudduck. Or Arthur Big Boy Crudduck. And he also did Just Because. Just because I hung the same. Just because I spoke her name somewhere, this has got to be a different just because. And just because I'm not the happy guy I used to be, you know she. So that's definitely a different song. Okay, how about I Got a Woman, Ray Charles? Well, I, I, I got a woman mean as she can be. Because she cried. 
And that was our Ray Charles that did that original. And I'm Left, You're Right, She's Gone, uh, which was written by Stan Kessler. He was one of the writers. I actually got to meet Stan. He was working at Sun Records. He passed away uh, a few years ago, but <clears throat> I got to meet him. I got to meet him over at Sun Records. And he also wrote, I Forgot to Remember to Forget. He was good with those twisting titles. Train I ride Sixteen coaches long That long back train Take my baby back home My baby back home, 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 home. And see so they only released Ten of these songs on the Sun. There was only five Sun records, Elvis records, and they were in 45s and 78s, by the way. But don't you be nobody's fool now, baby. Come back, baby. Come, come back, baby. Come, come back, baby. Come, come back, baby. I wanna play that. And look, there's a uh, tour bus out there. And most of those chords, most of those songs were one, four, five songs were very easy to play. A lot of them were in E. All right, so I'm gonna take this tuner, friends. It's gonna be in the bottom drawer. Go to the right hand side. Right there. And last but not least, this Herald. But last but not least, we stayed here on the 27th and 28th, <clears throat> May. I'm gonna put right here, Spa Guy. And Lori, May 27 through 28, 2017. Right there. And you see other people have signed in here. So that's mine right there, spa guy. So there you are, friends. Okay, that's when your heartaches began was one that he would have definitely sung here. And although the Presleys uh, didn't have heat and air in here, or they didn't have air conditioning. They had heat, of course. But this is a nice day. It's, it's cooled off since the rain came and the storm came. So we've got the windows open. It's actually very comfortable in here. And I'm sure this was a, a day that they looked forward to when it was nice outside. So... I'm going to sing when that... That's when your heartaches begin. When you find your sweetheart in the arms of a friend That's when your heart is stuff and all kinds of other things on there I have I do all kinds of historical things a lot of music stuff as well a lot of just 
historical music things. Since I live in Nashville, there's a lot of stuff around there as well. I happen to be in Memphis today, but you never know where I'll be or what I'll come up with. I'm constantly looking for little tidbits of history and little things that are interesting. Stay tuned, friends. Yeah, I knew all the way back when. I tell you what, that young whippersnapper, he used to come running through here. I think, slow down, son. Just slow down. I probably should have told him to tighten up.